Well, folks, it is estates all day, and I'm parked in a park, parked in a park, because the parking for this sale is going to be a little crazy. So I have to find a footbridge and then walk past eight homes to find this house. Looks like lots of vintage, which we always love. So a little exercise to get there. Hopefully I'm not bombarded. Well, no, if I'm bombarded with a lot of stuff, that'll be a good thing. If I buy a lot of things, just a lot of exercise coming back. So estate sale day. Let's see what treasures we can find. Hopefully there's some rummaging through drawers and attics and basements. My favorite. Let's get to walk in and go see the sale. Yeah. 
don't. That, that's where research. I think we got a time mill and then we put that to you. Once in a Candy hot whipper. That's pretty awesome. I'd be afraid. Arthur was a great cartoon. Hope you don't mind a little car recap. It's just easier for me this way because I am headed back from the estate sale. Well, that's a lie. I showered and I'm headed somewhere else. <laughs> um, and uh, there is yard work going on, of course, where I live. So on my way out to go grocery shopping, I figured let me just film the recap now. So yes, um, an okay estate sale, a little bitty house. Lots of neat kitsch items, which I did not get to. I was number 38. It wasn't a sale where I felt that I had to be, you know, within the first 10 people to get in. There were a lot of cute vintage items in the pictures, some planters, some Christmas, but nothing that I thought, oh, you've got to get there early. So, you know, non-stress, no stress, just easy going at the sale. The company that runs the sale, they're always very well organized. Some items are priced, other items are not, but pricing is usually pretty pretty decent and fair. And then if you go on the second day or the last day of the sale, everything is half off, so you really can't beat that. But I picked up a few things, you know, no no game changers, no big big ticket items. I don't really think it was that kind of sale. So what did I get? Um, there were some vintage magazines. We have a Woman's Day. This is Christmas, and that is why I picked it up. What's the year? 1959. Oh, cookies. Of course I love cookies. The collector's cookbook. So you have candies. I know that there are 
There are different ways to make wreaths in here. Artificial fruit wreath, traditional wreath. Ugh, look at all the decorating. I love it. Um, so we picked that guy up. The ads for Christmas. I... <laughs> I picked up this because, I mean, why, why not? DuckTales. Woohoo! <laughs> uh, you know, this, some DuckTales items can, some DuckTale items can be really great on eBay. It has like that basement moldy smell. I think it's from the bag. Um, especially with Scrooge McDuck. Also, the other duck from Disney, not Donald, not Scrooge, but, um, oh, what the heck. Ludwig, Ludwig von Drake. He's a duck professor. If you ever come across items that feature him, definitely look them up because he is one of the, um, I guess, lesser known ducks but he's also desired among the Disney collectors. But this is a fun little bag. I mean, this would be great to travel. Flea market, can't really hold that much, but I think it's still cute. I paid, I think a dollar or 50 cents for this. Not, not too shabby. Now there were a lot of books. Please don't you know, send hate comments. Hardcover books were $2 and softcover were a dollar. So I gathered up a whole bunch of vintage children's books. If they would have been a quarter um, or 50 cents, I probably wouldn't have spent my time looking because then it would be easier for me to kind of bundle them for either reselling or bundle them for junk journalists. But at two bucks a pop, that's kind of difficult when some of them were listed on eBay or Etsy for $5. You know, I'm... I don't want those kind of margins. So I only came back with two books. <laughs> I picked up Andy and Betsy at the circus. This has so many interesting illustrations because it just doesn't cover clowns. Everybody loves a clown. I say that in jest. It is a song. Is it um, Gary Puckett and the Union Gap? No, everybody loves a clown, so why don't you? laugh at the things that I say and do. It's not him. I don't know. But I picked this up because it has so many of the sideshow acts. So you have a juggler. I believe they even had um, a fat woman, which I'm not, you know, being rude or mean. That's just what, well, this is the queen of the poundage queenies. <laughs> you know, I rarely see this kind of illustration in a vintage circus book, at least the ones I have. Then I picked up this. There were some older books. I did look at a few of them. The Johnstown Flood book. That wasn't, I thought that would be, you know, a decent book because it is older, but it wasn't. I think I saw them going online for $10. See, so just because something is old does not mean that it's going to bring in X amount of money. So this is The Complete Home by Mrs. Julia McNair Wright. Oh, how lovely. Presented to Madison. Presented by Madison, my husband, hmm. to his wife as a token of affection. 1884. Holy cannoli. So this is the complete home and encyclopedia of domestic life and affairs. These also range on eBay in prices. Um, I bought it because I thought it would be neat to look at and read. And also there are some pretty colored plates inside. Window gardening. I'll do that any day. Industry in the home. The beauty of the home. For my part, said Cousin Emma, meals always taste better for a bouquet or a moss plate or a pot of fern in the middle of the table. And summer we use fresh fruit. Fresh flowers. That's funny. Religion in the home. Good manners in the home. Friendship in the home. Hospitality. Use and abuse of money. <laughs> Mistress and maid in the home. Oh boy, we're getting we're getting into deep deep stuff now. I know there are more plates. Let's see if I can just find one more. What's this one? 
This is pretty too. I love the colors. Wish I had this in my house. Ancient home, Roman first century. Oh, so you have the baths, the Roman baths. So this was $2. Great for two bucks. So I think in total I was charged $7. Uh, I did get another book. I believe that's in my bag in the back seat. But, you know, not every state sale is going to be flashy. You're not going to walk away with a whole bunch of stuff. There were some really cute knickknacks there. I love the little Hawaiian woman. She was a bit damaged. $2, you know, I could always say why not. But then that just becomes an item that kind of sits there. And, you know, I have visions of things I'm going to do with it, but I never do. So I, I want to kind of stop making those kind of purchases and be more intentful, intentful with what I do purchase. Because someone else may have been looking for that little Hawaiian woman and, you know, a little paint, loss of paint won't deter them none. So Sometimes I would just rather leave items that don't speak to me right off the bat and perhaps others can pick them up and enjoy them. Just like a woman was going through these bags, but she didn't want the ducktails. So when I saw that, I was happy. <laughs> Perfect example of passing by on the things that, you know, either you're not interested in reselling, you don't collect, or just something that doesn't grab you right away and letting it there for someone else to enjoy. So yes, I think there are plenty more estate sales coming up. It seems that they're going to be really ramping up. There's one that looks rather interesting. And whether I'll get to it or not, we'll have to see. But I'm excited. I might need to get more bags. Book bags, another bag, satchel on each side. Who knows? Who knows? <laughs> or I just come away with a DuckTales bag and three of books. That works too. I hope you enjoy this estate sale venture. Oh, I forgot to mention I also met up with two viewers. They were there. I wrote their names down so I would not forget. Uh, let's see. Diane and Mindy, it was nice to meet you both. I hope that you walked away with some great treasures. Um, really friendly, nice to chat with. And um, yeah, so if you watch me and you see me on the States, I'll be sure to say hi. I'll probably ask for your name and then write it down so that I can tell you hi again in my recap. Thanks for watching. I hope if any of you are out going to your local estate sales, I wish you luck and good treasure hunting. May you find the treasure that you're looking for. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. I'll see you all next time.